Hi, I'm Chad with Move4 Guitar. This lesson is from our series Cage Theory. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how the cage seventh chords work with major scale modes. First off, if you like all the diagrams for this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Cage Theory. But I am working on it as I'm filming this lesson, so it might not be available as you're watching this lesson. If it is available, a link will pop up on the screen that'll allow you to download it. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to download it when it is available. This is part 17 from our series, Cage Theory. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So in a previous lesson, I showed you how the cage triad chords work with the major scale modes. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the cage seventh chords that we just went over. And again, if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you understand the modes of the major scale. And if you don't, you can go back and watch our series, Music Theory for Guitar, where I go in depth about the major scale modes so you'll learn everything you need to know about them to understand this lesson. So when we were talking about triad chords, you had the major chords and the minor chords. So you had the major chords work with the Ionian mode, the Lydian mode, or the Mixolydian mode, and the minor chords work with the Dorian mode, the Phrygian mode, or the Aeolian mode. And now we're going to look at seventh chords, so it changes it up a little bit because you have two different types of major chords. You have major seventh and dominant seventh. So I'm going to show you how those fit using the caged chords, how they fit with the major scale modes. So on your scheme right now are major seventh caged chords up and down the fretboard. I put them in the key of G just to give them a key and it starts lower on the fretboard. So these are all G major seventh caged chords up and down the fretboard. And I'm assuming at this point I don't have to point them all out. We've done that multiple times, so you should be able to visualize those. Major seventh caged chords work with two different modes. They'll either work with the Ionian mode so this is a G Ionian mode, which is the same thing as the G major scale. If we were to point out where the cage chords lie within the scale, it would look like this. So all the ones that are in the red or the black are the intervals of the major seventh chords that actually fit with the cage chord shapes. And the rest, the grayed out notes, are the rest of the scale. So for example, right here, you have your G major seven shape and then the notes around it. Or right here, you have your E major seven shape. So now you can play a major seven chord and you have all these notes that work around it if you want to throw in little licks or fills and this can help with soloing as well which we'll talk about more later. But for starting off you could play major seven chords, hit the chord and then throw in these extra notes including the notes of the chord to create little licks, riffs or fills like we did before when we were looking at the other chords and the other scales. And major seven like I said works with more then just the Ionian mode, it also works with the Lydian mode. So here's the major seven chords again. If we put the Lydian mode on the screen, it's right here. And still within the Lydian mode, you have all the major seven cage chord shapes. So again, you could play these chords and then you have all these extra notes if you wanted to play in the Lydian mode to throw in little fills and licks. Your next major chord is a dominant seventh chord. So we're in the key of G, so that's G7 chords. So these are your G7 cage chords up and down the whole fretboard. And dominant seven with the major scale modes, the only mode that it works with is the Mixolydian mode. Mixolydian is a major scale mode, but it's the only one that has dominant seventh chords in it because it has a flat seven. So this is a G Mixolydian mode on your screen up and down the whole fretboard. And then we can highlight where the G7 chords are actually in there. So again, you could hit a dominant seventh chord, play that, and then you have all these extra notes that you could use for licks or fills or whatever you want to do. Now we're on to the minor seven, and minor seven works with all the minor modes. So you have three minor modes that these minor seven chords will work with. So on your screen right now is in the key of G, so we have G minor seven cage chords up and down the whole fretboard. You have the Dorian mode that works with those chords. So this is a G Dorian mode, if I highlight the G minor seven cage chords and then the rest of the scale in the gray, you can see how the minor seven chord fits within that mode. So again, you have options for playing a minor seven chord and then extra notes that you can play for licks or fills or riffs. And that would be in the Dorian mode right here. Or minor seven also works with another mode. So here's a G major, so here's a G minor seven cage chord up and down your whole fretboard. We could use the Phrygian mode. So all those minor sevens fit within the Phrygian mode, which will look like this. You have all your minor seven chords highlighted in the red and black, and then the rest of your 
Phrygian mode in the gray. So again, you can play the chord, then add in little fills or licks. And then there's one more mode that the minor seven chords work with. This is back to G minor seven cage chords. The G minor seven also work with the Aeolian mode, which is on your screen now. If we highlighted the minor seven chord, you see that it still fits within this mode. So the minor seven chords work with all the minor modes of the major scale, the Dorian mode, the Phrygian mode, and the Aeolian mode. So just like we did with the triads, where the triads would fit within each of the modes, now we can do the same thing with the seventh chords, and it changes a little bit since you have two different types of major chords. And if you already know your modes, you might already know all this information, but I just wanted to point it out to make it really clear how you can use your seventh chords with the major scale modes and using your seventh chords that are coming straight out of the cage system so they're easier to visualize up and down the fretboard. So that's how the cage seventh chords work with the major scale modes. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where I'm going to show you how you can use the caged arpeggios combined with scales for soloing. And be sure to download the e-guide. All the diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we have at least one new lesson every day.